Hi there and welcome to Watch Hours Weekly and uh, after that Leeds game yesterday, what what a day, what a day. I cried, I laughed, I jumped for joy. The fans were back, the new guys in town showed up and what a class act they are. Uh, the tribute to Trevor. Well done, Jasper. I know you got drowned out by the singing in the end, but it was magnificent. And I, I couldn't have been prouder of Birmingham City Football Club yesterday. It was fantastic. Now then, let's talk about the game. Well, our defence was superb. We have got what will become two of our all-time great fullbacks. Rarish and Granger, Carr and um, the Villa lad, can't remember his name. Uh, going back to Hall and Green, these two are the absolute business. They are superb. A central pairing, fantastic. Experience of uh, of long and and the speed and the power of Sanderson, fantastic. Uh, and if we win the next twenty games one nil, you want to hear a complaint about me from me. As I've said before, we still have one goal a game side, and we've got to play very very well defensively to win with one goal. Now, if there's any. Um, and it's not a criticism, it's, it's, it's a fact that we allow our openings to go unfinished. We, we had several chances, especially later on in the second half when they, they'd gone, uh, where we, we could have made, made hay, but we didn't. Um, the penalty, why wasn't the bloke sent off? Uh, he was steaming in on goal. Uh, anyway, enough of that. Uh, made it even better that it was Leeds that came to our party and was sent packing. Bye-bye. <laughs> they are in dead, dreadful trouble. Their new manager has not had a good start. And I think they're going to struggle a little bit. As for us, we keep saying, oh, we're not, let's not get excited, you know. We'll be happy with a, a top half place. Well, to do better than that, we need to score more goals. And there are two ways of doing that. A, the players we've got start to gel a bit together. People know where people are going to be, etc., etc., etc. Or we buy a regular goal scorer now it ain't easy in this day and age with EFL regulations and you could see the frustration on Tom uh, Brady's face um, when he said you know oh, we have to, we have to play by the rules and uh, as they are not as we'd like them to be um, and uh, it won't be easy to get a 20, year, 20 goal a year, man. You look at um, Jay Adams, he's, he's good. He scores in every game he plays in and he can't get in the side at, at Southampton. And they ain't very good either. Um, so where are we going to find this 20 goal a year, man, you know, on loan? Not going to happen. We've got to buy somebody. Buy somebody who's a 20 goal a year man at least um and f frankly we can't afford him um and as soon as if if we loaned one from from a big club uh, and they got 15 goals in their first 20 games he'd be back he'd be back from where where he came or other people with far more money than we've allowed to spend would be taking them taking them away from us anyway so it's a difficult thing 
I think, uh, to be fair to Hogan particularly, he looked sharper th- on, uh, yesterday than he did at any other time uh, of last season, where he did struggle apparently with, with, with a, a groin problem, which he's checked. He looked sharp, but one of them days he had two two or three good chances when he never hit the target. Uh, we had Juki sitting on the uh, uh, on the bench till 90 minutes and we send him on and his first touch is to take the penalty. Now, I've got to admit, I've got to admit, when I saw that he was going to take it, A, he's just come on. He's not, you know, he's, he's, he's not kicked the ball. Uh, and his record with penalties isn't that good. To be honest, uh, I can think of a fair number that he's missed, uh, and so it was a bit of a fingers crossed job. Uh, and uh, luckily, uh, he managed to hit the goalkeeper's foot, and instead of it coming back out, it rocketed into the net. So well done, Duke. Well done for having the balls to do what you did. Uh, was it pretty? But hey, still counts the same. Uh, and now we've got a week's gap. All this football we've been playing, and now we've got a week's gap. And we, we, we're all fired up. We want to play. We want to play. We want to play the next game. But uh, that's the way That's the way the cookie crumbles. We've got a pretty crap draw in the uh, in the League Cup with respect to Cardiff. Uh, not going to fill the ground. Unless, of course, Blues come up with some sort of uh, incentive. Uh, you know, kids for a quid, five for everybody else, and fill the ground. Why not? Why not? There were people that were desperate to get in yesterday, couldn't. Uh, so why not? Why not encourage them? Say, so, well, we'll 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 make sure you, we'll make sure you, uh, you we find you a spot for the cup tie. Okay. Till the talk show tomorrow, six thirty, and. That's all I've got to say. Happy man today. Happy man. Just been watch, watching Warwickshire lambast Worcester in the cricket. Come on, you bears. Everything's, everything in the garden is rosy. God bless you all.